sea bass with fondant potatoes and a thyme and truffle sauce. Never had sea bass. Fish, innit? It's quite easy to do fish wrong. I think it can either be underdone or overcooked. She begins by seasoning her fish. And that's it. I'll just bake them when the guests arrive. Fair enough. On to the spuds. They sound like fancy tatties. Fondant. Fondant. Tatties. They sound fancy anyway. I would say fondant potatoes are quite fancy. The potatoes get a slice, then a fry, before being smothered in butter. What is not to like butter and potatoes? She'll finish cooking them just before serving tonight, so it's time for the truffle and thyme sauce. I'm so sorry. Thyme. I've got plenty of that at the moment. And truffles. You know, pigs can't be wrong, because they're always sniffling for it. I'm a bit of a pig. <laughs> Could probably sniff it out a little bit. <laughs> Sarah chops and fries shallots and garlic before adding thyme, butter, cream and the all-important truffle oil. And if truffle oil wasn't enough, I'm going to add some truffle salt as well. You know how to party. She cooks it through and will reheat later. Right, that's me. I'm going to go and get ready now. Interesting person, interesting menu. I think that they're actually not Middle Eastern. I think they've maybe travelled a little bit. Half Middle Eastern, half Arabic, and half fondant. Wrong on so many levels. So the preps went really well today. Um, I'm feeling a little bit more relaxed. I'm ready for the night to go ahead, and we'll just see how it pans out. After washing Ash's cutlery, the big old snob, Sarah is hoping for more from her main. The main really does need to be a big hit because the starter didn't go down as... Well, I knew it was a risk. I really, really did. So hopefully they're going to like this. She cooks her kale, bakes her bass, fries her fondants and simmers her sauce. Oh, that fish looks good. It is a little bit brown, browner than I'd like it to be. Still, there you have it. Baked sea bass with fondant potatoes and a thyme and truffle sauce. Wow. I hope it's as nice wow. as though it smells. Wow, this looks really good. I hope that's enough for Dale. How many tatties did I have? I had two tatties. Two tatties. Like, I'm starving, you know what I mean? We get it, you're hungry, yes. The, uh, the fondants are very, very soft, so... Did you like them? Very nice. Yeah, yeah. absolutely lovely. The sauce is lovely. That kicked ass. Oh, thank you, Rob. Yeah. Thank you. Top marks for uh, the main. Not much more to say, it was really good. The fish was quite nice, actually. It was quite moist. The main went down a lot better than the, the starter. All clean plates, so that's really, really good. Uh, well, I, I thought I had, I had had sea bass before, mm -hmm. uh, from when it came out, I clearly hadn't. Uh, but definitely, you've converted it. It was dead oh, nice. Oh, good. It was dead nice, good. yeah. Because fish is a lot more sustainable than meat, anyway. Mm. A lot of the, the cattle, the pump full of antibiotics. What yeah. do you mean by the pump full of antibiotics? The pumped full of antibiotics because of the environment they are, you know, raised in, I guess, before they are slaughtered. Um, it's really, really dirty and cramped and they get ill all the time. In this country? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Think? <laughs> I don't know. No. Think so. <laughs> no. Yeah. I, grew, I grew up on a dairy farm. Oh, did um, you? And just to take milk as an example, if any cow was on antibiotics for mm. a course of a day, a week or a month, that milk gets milked mm. from a cow, because that's natural. Right. And thrown in the bin. Oh, does it? gets it? literally thrown in the sink. Oh, really? Uh, that's good to know. fairly shot it down, didn't he? Like, oh, my dog's a farmer. <laughs> I like the fact that I actually stood up for the, you know, the farm yakkers of the world. Well, I just know from personal experience it was... It was just... It was fairy dust. Like, it wasn't anything um, true at all, so... Talking of fish, Sagittarian Sarah reckons she can pick out a Pisces. I think you're <laughs> maybe a Libra. No. No, no chance. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're maybe a Virgo. No. <laughs> no. This is going well. Scorpio. Scorpio. Oh, what? stinging your tail then. 100%. What? Yeah. <laughs> Are you quite sceptical then, Ash? Uh, simply just because if you look up at the stars and you're not over Jesus, you know, that's, that's what I'm going to feel today is a bit far fetched like. Ash hit it on the head perfectly. Why look up at the sky and go, oh, I'm going to have a bad day tomorrow. Oh, my baby's going to be born. Oh, there's a. F fish that's not sustainable. Me and Ash have definitely got, like, we're pulled apart in terms of what we believe, our values, our morals, but it doesn't mean that we won't get on. Have you ever had deja vu? I've been somewhere when I was older <laughs> and I said to my mum and dad, I've been here before, and they said, we haven't been here before, and we walked down and it was exactly how I described it. Hate to burst your bubble, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna. <laughs> Oh. Um, scientists, scientists have literally just confirmed that deja vu 
um, is actually just where your memories have like they haven't been filled in properly. You've, you've entered data into your memory incorrectly. I think no matter what anyone says, he's going to say the opposite. You say something that's black is actually white. He's sitting back and he's just checking everybody out, thinking, I'm better than you. <laughs> I don't think he's the only one. If you had the attention of the whole world for 10 seconds, what would you say or what would you tell them? Worship me. <laughs> so modest. You need characters like Rob in life, don't you? Like, you know, not comparing him to Donald Trump or anything, but you need these out there boisterous characters. Come to think of it, you never see him in the same room, do you? <laughs>